Hello boys and girls, I hope you're all doing well. Today we'll read a story about St. Bridget's cloak. Does anyone know who St. Bridget is? St. Bridget is a patron saint of Ireland. She helped the poor and sick. Her feast day is celebrated on the 1st of February. In this picture you can see Bridget's cloak. Look at all the beautiful colours. Now let's read the story. Bridget was a nun. She spent her days praying to God. She looked after poor people and cared for the sick. Other girls came to help her regularly. Bridget dreamed of building a church. She had neither land nor money to buy any. However, she came up with an idea. Bridget told her father that she planned to tell the king of her wish to build a church. She wanted to ask the king for land to build the church. Her father laughed at her plan. He told Bridget that the king was a very mean man and he would never help her. Ignoring what her father had told her, Bridget and her friends went to visit the king. She told him of her plan and he laughed at Bridget. The king showed Bridget all of his land. I would not even give you a blade of this grass, said the king. Bridget was very sad. That night she prayed to God to make the king a kind man. The next day Bridget went back to visit the king again. Will you give me as much land as my cloak can cover? she asked. Again the king laughed at Bridget. You can have whatever land your cloak can cover but it will be of no use to you, he said. Bridget put her cloak on the ground. Suddenly the cloak began to grow and grow. Stop, stop now, exclaimed the king. He couldn't believe what was happening. Before long, the cloak had covered enough land to build the church. The king fell to the ground. He vowed to help Bridget in any way he could from that day on. He wanted to help the poor and sick especially. Bridget was able to build her church on the land. She was very happy. I hope you enjoyed the story of St. Bridget's cloak. What was your favourite part? My favourite part was when the cloak began to grow and grow. That's all for today, boys and girls. Have a great day.